the Curupira protects the woods, forests, and animals in Brazilian folklore. He is a short boy with red hair and his feet turned backwards. The first Curupira records were made by Father José de Ancheta and date back to the beginning of the 16th century, which is why he is the first figure in Brazilian folklore to be documented. The Curupira was perceived by the Indians and the first Banderantes as a wicked and dangerous creature. Being the protector of the forest did not mean he was friendly to the Indians who lived there. They were extremely afraid of him. He was blamed for abducting children who went missing in the forests. Many attempted to chase and capture the Kurupira, but the flame-haired boy used his reverse feet to leave trails that misled his hunters. Many of them ended up getting lost in the woods and were never seen again. The Kurupira loves alcohol and tobacco. This is why many of those who must go into the forest to make a living, such as rubber tappers and hunters, leave offerings to the Kurupira so that they can carry out their activities undisturbed by him. The Kurupira has no patience for those who exploit the forest excessively, and when they attack nature, they are targeted by the Kurupira. One well-known trick to evade the Kurupira is to throw a ball of yarn at him. He is very curious, and while he plays with the ball of yarn looking for the tip of the thread, it takes him a while to catch up. Together with Asasi, the Kurupira is one of the most famous beings in Brazilian folklore. Just like the Sasi, the Kurupira also has a day in his honor, June the 17th. The Kurupira is used in primary school to educate children about the importance of preserving our ecosystems. As well as being a mythological creature, the Kurupira is also an ecological creature. For these reasons and others, the Kurupira is one of Brazil's most famous folklore figures.